What's up, y'all? It's your boy K back with another video, and we continue in a series on this Jeep Grand Cherokee right here. So I believe this is day seven. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap. On the last video, we finally got the old dashboard out, which is right here. And this is the reason why, why I'm wearing this, actually. I split my finger on there, so you know I have to do what I got to do until I go get a Band-Aid. So the old dashboard is out, right? So let's go into the interior, check out the progress we made. This is the new dashboard. So y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think of the new dashboard and the little trim piece that I put on there. And I'll personally, as of right now, it's kind of, uh, it's okay. But I believe it's going to be crazy once the seats go back in. Because as you can see, the seats are brown. And that little touch of brown up there is really going to make it pop. So this is the whole interior now. Got the new dashboard in. We got everything plugged up. Only thing we have to do is put the new airbag in. We already put this new airbag in. Now we just got to put that airbag in. And the reason why we didn't do it last time is because, as you can see, it's burnt. So we have to cut it. And we got to do the same thing like we did to that one, which is splice it and just heat it up and put a new connector on there. So that's what we got to do to that. Also took the windshield out. So as you can see right here, the windshield is 100% out of the car. So that means we do have to make another trip to the yard and find another windshield. And hopefully on the first try, we can get it out without cracking it. Because, you know, sometimes when you remove the windshield, it cracks. So hopefully we can find one. Hopefully we can bring it back to the shop with us. This video, we're about to go ahead and mess with the front end. Well, some of it, right? So right now, what we're really about to do, the first step, is clean up this interior. All right, so this thing is super dirty. We need to get our tools out of here. And we most definitely just need to go ahead and clean it. Like, look at all this dog hair, bro. See this? They got to go. So we got the trusty vacuum. We need to go ahead and vacuum and clean up this interior. So that way we can fix this airbag and we can install the seats. One thing with the interior that we probably going to have to do later because we probably, hopefully we can find it at the yard. But when we went last time, we wasn't able to find it. So hopefully we can find it a second time. So we need to find a seat belt. So this right here. It's a seat belt, and as you can see, it's black. The one we was finding in the yard was all tan, so we need to find a black one. Think. This is what it looks like right now, the interior. There we go. It's really not that bad. Um, it's still a little bit of dog hair in it, but not that much. I'm gonna just have to get a, um, a brush, like a pet hair remover brush and brush it out. I did kind of hit the seats a little bit because it was most definitely hair just laying on the seat. But now I got that done. It's way better. I feel like it's hundred percent, like at least like 90% better, right? So now we can go ahead and tackle this airbag real quick. Um, I did get some new connectors. So we pretty much go do the same thing that we did on the last video. Just go ahead and splice it, put the connector in there, heat it up, make sure it's got a good seal, and then just reinstall the airbag. This right here is the brand new airbag right here. So as you can see, these are the connectors. Luckily, I uh, cut the connectors on this one because as you can see, we need it. So basically, it's already cut. And basically, what we're going to do is go ahead and remove these. Go ahead and splice it. You know what I'm saying? Remove the installation and just go ahead and pair it to that one right there. So to do this, it's pretty easy. You want to remove the installation from each wire. Take your time so you don't damage the wire. And once you're done, it's going to look like this. Once you're done with the airbag, you can move on to the actual steering wheel and repeat the same process. And once you're done with that, it's going to look like this. Now that we got that, we're going to use these gauges here. So you're pretty much butt connectors, waterproof. So you can go ahead and use these. These are the uh, correct size, 23 through 16 gauge, right? So we're just going to take them and basically come on up out of there. Take one in and sit it here, right? Crimp it down, take the other side, sit it there, crimp it down, then we're going to heat it up. But make sure you match the colors. So that's blue and red, blue and red, yellow and brown yellow and brown 
you could take the gauge and set it on the wire itself and you need to go ahead and just crimp it down in place so it can be secure once it's secure you can heat it up a little bit for extra security once you're done with the airbag you can actually move on to the steering wheel itself and just repeat the same process and you should be done so once you're done you guys it's basically going to look like this right here make sure you got everything connected which i do then you just take it set it back in place just like that and then put the bolts in the inside remember it was two 10 millimeters the 10 millimeters are right here so basically it just go into this hole here and you tighten it down and then of course is one on the opposite side Right, guys there we go we have the brand new airbag on so how does it look the interior actually looking like it's pretty much complete at this point it's looking super good it's crazy how just a small little piece can make the whole interior come along so we got that on there we pretty much got the interior all good to go at this point i think we're about to just move to the front end of the vehicle start just seeing what we can do today you know what i'm saying because I don't even know, like I'm not about to, you know, make up some stuff and say some crazy stuff. You got to take this off real quick. This here goes to, you see it right there, the rear view mirror, but it actually has like the rain sensors in the inside. So that's what this goes to. Something just fell out too. But yeah, so let's go ahead, open up this and see what we can get to. We have the radiator installed. We have the fan installed. So now it's just time to see man there's so much light around this boy like there we go now it's time to see what we could do as far as everything else hopefully we can just go ahead put the headlights and everything in place and just tidy up the front end so let's see okay so here we go pretty much at this point the only thing we have to do is kind of push that back a little bit oh actually nope we don't even have to push it back we just have to tighten it up so we have to put the bolts back in place on both sides um put the power steering cooler back in place and just go ahead and just see what we can do as far as putting the headlights and stuff back on. That piece look like it's kind of, I don't know, I think it's good. It's either damaged or it's good. I can't tell in the camera, but yeah. And then go ahead and get the new bumper, which is all the way over there because we painted it and transfer the old parts to the new bumper. So with that being said, let's get to work. We're unboxing a brand new AC condenser right here, as you can see. So it's always come super secure. So you got to pop that thing off so we can take it, actually move it over to the car so we can start this work. Now I'm actually taking off the power steering cooler because it's actually in the way and I really don't see the mounting points on this thing. So I'm just going to take it out right now and move it to the side so we can continue putting the condenser on. Now that we got the condenser in place, you actually got to hook up the AC lines. Uh, and just tighten it down all right you guys so i just noticed something with the power steering cooler um i don't know where like the locate the location bracket is to you know hook it in place so it doesn't move around y'all look at this and let me know in the comments where y'all think it should go basically this is the power steering cooler right here as you can see i put the ac condenser on um and usually it kind of just sits flush like right here but the reason I took it off and I took it apart is because I thought it actually sit in these holes right here. So that one and that one right there. But this plastic piece actually sits up like this. And then, you know, the inside would look like this. So that means this will have to literally sit in here like so which is fine but so you're telling me these just poke into the ac condenser it's kind of confusing to me because i really don't want to just jam that into the ac condenser because it's brand new i just bought it and i just don't feel comfortable poking a hole in it so uh, I looked it up online and it's pretty much looking like it's sitting flush on there. So I'm assuming that's what you're going to do. But I don't know. I'm going to YouTube it real quick to just look at some videos and see if somebody replaced it or repaired it before. 
and just see how they put it back on. Because of right now, I don't really feel too comfortable with just doing that. Because like I said, this is a brand new unit and I don't want to just poke a hole in it, if you get what I'm saying. But other than that, I don't see any other mounting point. So y'all comment down below and let me know, you know, if you did a job like this before on a 2012 Grand Cherokee where the power steering cooler is mounted to. Other than that, we pretty much got a lot of stuff done so far. We um, hooked up everything with the radi radiator and stuff. Then we put the condenser in there and got that side hooked up to the AC. Now we just got to hook that side up to the trans line. And then we just got to hook up this power stand cooler. But yeah, man, that's really tripping me out because it really looks like it just sit right here. But it's like, it's no mounting point. So I don't want to just jam it in there. So I don't know, whatever. Everything else here is trash. Once I get done with that, I'm probably going to test fit the headlights just to make sure everything is everything. And of course, I got to put the coolant hose back on. This one goes right here. And then this side goes right here. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. The cap and everything else will be good to go. All right, you guys, so with that being said, I'm gonna leave it here for right now and we gonna pick it up next video so I could do some research on that. Honestly, I tested and I, I honestly think you're just supposed to jam it in there and let it do what it do. So that being said, let's close that right there. We might be at the junkyard trying to find another windshield. So I should leave it like that.